All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 20th to uh, April 26th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well I'm offering you six weeks uh, live online tarot classes uh, in which I'm going to teach you how to read the major arcana in terms of uh, most, um, how can I say it, widely spread a uh, fields of one's life, career, relationship and also how to use them in a dedicated spread I use myself that it is a major arcana friendly so at the end you are to be set to do your own a uh, personal readings. So that being said, for Capricorn, the first card, which is the, the very topic of the week, uh, it will be the star card, followed by the energies that are feeding the situation itself. That will be the energy of Five of Pentacles. Furthermore, what we do have it is the challenge that they will have to overcome throughout the week. That will be the Page of Swords. Then we do have the gifts and the blessings that Capricorn are to enjoy throughout the week. That will be the gift and the blessing of the Tower card. That is very uh, powerful and potent gift and, gift and or blessing. Moving next, we have the impression that you are leaving into the people around. That will be the impression of the Temperance. And the last one, which stands as the guidance of the uh, for you for the week that Tarot is offering. Uh, that will be the Ten of Wands. So, uh, a lot to do, really, throughout the week for you. That can be seen into the uh, into the guidance of the cards. Uh, but, uh, in general, the week, uh, it shows some sort of a perseverance from your behalf. Uh, pretty much what uh, the these two cards here are pointing, uh, it's like, that. Uh, do, do you know what is the first thing that came to my mind when I saw the energy and the the, the topic of the week? It's like phoenix rises from the ashes. That 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 is exactly the, the picture that came to my mind when I see those when I look at those two cards. And to me, those two cards are pointing that the energies are gonna make your um, make your attention much more sharp upon the uh, not. They are not even difficulties. They are more like a um, um, a turning stones. Uh, these small stones that if left unattended are kind of like screwing around with uh, the situation with your love life with your career and in generally with having a, a pleasant experiences for throughout the week so instead of neglecting those small trifles uh, those energies are going to keen your mind over them so you can start extinguishing those um those particular uh, you know, problems, disagreements, uh, in general, I, I will classify them like that, eight sources of insecurity. You know, you can have everything sorted out pretty much to its almost final extent, but that tiny thing that is still unattended, it kind of like breeds this uh, sense of insecurity in you should the, the endeavor happen or not. And those energies, like said, are going to push you into that direction to throw your efforts in there and uh, finalize your enterprises and your endeavors. And that's why the situation here, it is classified by the star card, which points, well, the star card is the strongest one pointing the end of uh, a really, really bad times. So if you have went through hell recently, you can really expect that your situation throughout this uh, week is to improve the circumstances that are surrounding your situation to improve drastically. Um, that will increase your ideals in a sense of that you are going to start expecting more because more is going to come around, you know, and better things in general are going to start happening here with the star card. The star card also, well, it's very personal because it does depend on your situation, but it could predict as well unfolding love in a sense of like the start of relationship that has a big prosperity or a, a potential for your prosperity moving forward into the future. But once again, that happens when, when you attend to those turning stones, is how we call them in our country, the stones that can turn the carriage on that you, you see it that it is a small one and you say, I'm going to run over it like it's nothing and it's just turning your carriage off. 
so a, 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 what I am trying to appeal here is for a, a rather more serious attention to these um, again trifles that people are tend to look at them with, neg with a negligence. Uh, what is going to be crucial though for uh, the good unfoldments or rather like for the continuous unfoldments of a good fortune for the week, from the week itself and from the topic of the week for you Capricorn is if you are able to sustain plans like once the good fortune starts uh, being laid hand on you then at that point you need to start you know planning how you are to incorporate this good fortune into a, a, a future goals however we do have the challenges here and that is to be the challenge of the page of swords so page of swords are people who likes to play with the with the reality if i may say it that way these people like to present fictions as facts are they liars though i can't really say because it's just they are making things up without being sure and and that is that is the worst that they are not making it intentionally it's just they uh, say you sh they sugarcoat things or they are uh wanting things to happen or, and are saying it is like it is definitely gonna happen but uh, there are still some conditions that needs to be kept so uh, as the challenge here points at your person who talks big but in reality maybe there is nothing those uh, statements to be backed up with and uh, for you the challenge is to be whenever an information comes your way especially about a uh, uh, about a success or a failure of something or how one thing is going to be successful or how one thing is going to fail that refers to idea of yours to put the information that it is brought to you against what you know to be true against the real facts that you do know does exist and that way you will be able to differentiate what is fiction and what is fact and thus being able to uh, take the uh, or to make the accurate strategy how to move on forward another thing about the page is that these people they like to argue as well and the worst is that their arguments are rather trifles not trifles i'm sorry wrangles than anything else so you alone see here by that definition that it is completely completely unnecessary it is best to just agree with them even if you don't agree and just ignore them rather than I don't know rather than keep on feeding this wrangle that nobody wins in generally it only consumes energy and nothing manifests or or, or, or is happening from it so the um, the gift and the blessing uh, for you is going to be the tower and that's uh, you don't have to look for it okay it's just is gonna hit you without you even knowing how and why now the tower for you Capricorn it does signify some certain circumstances that are quite shocking but in a good way because that's the gift and the blessing okay and uh, those circumstances are going to completely transmute maybe is the word that I should use here or transform maybe okay so they are going to transform you know uh, a, a field or an areas into your life that you have desperately ne needed something to move around you know just something to happen and uh, the destruction of the tower actually is going to be um, very productive destruction think of it it is like a neighborhood that has only fancy buildings and just in the middle of it you do have that ugly old building that nobody lives in there and, and nobody uh, and it is just sitting and it is a uh, masking the real goodness of the neighborhood and suddenly one day and an earthquake uh, earthquake uh, earthquake happens and it just brings it brings it down so it's like the the, the universe it is helping the situation or the field the area to thrive so you can expect such thing to uh, happen in your life that could touch your career could touch your relationship or it could touch as well the entirety of your life just so you know that it may happen a bit uh, 
uh, in a stressful manner because tower usually manifests through rather unpleasant circumstances but always at the end it does end up with a uh, nurturing and healing effect upon one's life and especially as we do have the star card at the uh, at the beginning of the reading or that it is to be the whole situation uh, then <clears throat> the tower just only contributes for the magnitude that the star is gonna hit you so it will be with a tremendous luck although like said that luck may manifest itself through a, a bit unpleasant circumstances so what happens with the people around how do they gonna see you here and that is the temperance uh, quite of a broad card to be honest first of all um career wise uh, your co-workers and your boss as well, um, you know, people that are to uh, make an assessment over you are to see you quite in tune, humble, pleased or well, how can I say it? resigned that there are just certain things that needs to be done. Like we said, the uh, small stone, small stones, I'm sorry, that can turn over the carriage. So these things just has to be attended to and you have no problem doing it. So because uh, the temperance all refer to mutual respect, solidarity uh, as well, uh, compassion if you will. And that being said, people are going to see you with a sense of solidarity according to the job you do, according to the relationship you uh, you are in and etc. Et and therefore, as you show respect to the, uh, to the situation, the situation is going to show respect to you as well. Uh, the uh, the worst thing that I can think of of the uh, temperance card is that people are going to see you as a, a person who is willing to compromise more than they should and some around may try to abuse that state just so they see that that's not actually the case once again it is how people see you and not your true state people may have been deceived by themselves not by you but by themselves and the last card that we do have for you, uh, Capricorn, is going to be the Ten of Wands. So that is the guidance that uh, Tarot has for you. And uh, pretty much you shouldn't turn out any turn off a, anything that comes your way. Now, the Ten of Wands is about a drive for power. And in order to drive uh, or in order to reach a state or a moment of power, you got to show yourself capable. So I do believe that this card um, mainly refers to career endeavors here. So you can expect to have a, to have a very, very busy week. A lot of things are going to move around, especially in terms of career. Many tasks are to be brought to your attention and you should pick every single one of it. Of course, if you do have the physical or the time capability for it. But the Ten of Wands, it pretty much points that you have started a game. The game has rules and those rules, whether you like them or not, they need to be obeyed by. So that being said, this was your weekly general uh, tarot reading and uh, hopefully you have enjoyed it. Hopefully you liked it. And once again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase search and as well I'm offering a, a six weeks online live tarot classes in which I'm going to teach you how to read the major arcana into their career and relationship uh, representative or kind of like um, incorporation and as well how to read it in a, a positive or a negative way and um, into the dedicated spread I have chosen I also use which is a also only major arcana only friendly uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around stay safe now and uh, see you next time bye